Welcome to this looker guide focused on access filters and user attributes. Today I'll show you how to use them together and keep control of your projects. To follow along you'll need access to a looker instance, an understanding of lookml and its components, and a basic understanding of programming concepts. User attributes provide a customized experience for each looker user. A looker admin defines a user attribute and then applies it to a user group or individual. Let's get started by accessing our lookml project. Log in to your Looker platform, and remember to have development mode enabled. For this tutorial, we'll open a new tab with the Orders Explorer. This will allow us to see the changes in real time. We'll also open a new tab with the User Attributes page, which can be found through the Admin panel. And finally, we'll have another tab open with our Looker Guide model. We'll start this tutorial by looking at the data. So let's go back to our Orders Explorer, and we'll need the brand, department, and name dimensions from the products field and then we'll click on run and by exploring the data a little bit we can see different brands different departments and different products but let's say we don't want this user to see all the products and all the brands we only want them to focus on their brand so let's switch to the user attributes tab and click on create user attribute and we'll name it something like user brand which will control what brand is assigned to which user and we'll change the user access to none because otherwise, users will be able to change the value for their own user attributes, making the access filters useless. We click on save, and we go to user values. We then look for the user we want to assign the user attribute. In this case, it will be my user. We then click on set value for the user. And for this tutorial, we'll be using the DC brand. We save it, and we move on to the tab with the looker model. We'll look for our orders explorer and we'll begin to add our access filter right before the joins. Now access filters are specific to a single explorer, so make sure to apply an access filter to every explorer that needs a restriction. Also, unlike most lookml parameters, access filters need to be used in conjunction with other settings in looker in order to work properly. Now when defining the field parameter, you have to specify the field and dimension because if you only define the dimension and assume Looker will understand, it will most likely fail. Now we reference the user attribute we just created, save the changes, validate the code, and then we'll go back to the tab with our orders explorer. And if we click on run again, we'll notice that we'll only see products from the DC brand now. This will be extremely useful when you want to restrict access to specific users or groups. If you need help managing your Looker instance, look no further. We are a full-service Looker consulting firm. We partner with Looker to help businesses maximize their analytics capabilities. We would be happy to meet with you to discuss your current Looker objectives and help you implement them. You can use the link below to connect with us. Until next time.